order for several hundred frogs. <laughs> you and the boys want to give it a try, I'll give you five cents a frog. Uh, don't you worry about nothing, Doc. We're going to get you all the frogs that you want. I know this place up the Carmel River, and that's got tons of frogs. Yeah, well, how are you going to get there? Well, we was going to use Joseph and Mary's trust to get the turtles. Uh, Max figured he wouldn't mind. Oh, Max got an angle. I'm sure he does. I think I got it, Max. As it turned out, Mac was right. Joseph and Mary not only didn't mind that the boys used the truck, he didn't even know. The Great Frog Expedition was definitely in business. During the millennia that men have hunted frogs, a pattern of hunt and parry has developed. The man with net poised creeps noiselessly, so he thinks, towards the frog, who sits very still and waits. The rules of the game require the frog to bide his time until the final flicker of a second the net is descending, and then jump into the water, swim to the bottom, and wait for things to blow over. This is the way it's done, the way it's always been done. Frogs don't resent this. But how could they have anticipated Mac's new method? How could they have foreseen the horror that followed? such a roundup taking place. Get along, little doggy. Get along, little doggy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A few frogs floundered around the bottom and got through to safety. But the majority decided to leave this pond forever to find a new home where this kind of thing didn't happen. And that was their undoing. were never counted, but there must have been close to a thousand. Their impact would soon be felt on Cannelly Road. <laughs> 